most powerful center in the world has been immobilized as well as a result of these terrorists. And that's attacks. a very haunting description that Bob Kerr just gave of that low flying aircraft near the White House, and one can only wonder if that was something that ultimately Let's ended back. up in the Pentagon. We just saw a live picture of what seemed to be a portion of the building falling away from the World Trade Center. If we can re-rack that to about 20 seconds ago, you'll see something dramatic happening. And I don't know whether it's another explosion or a portion of the building falling away, but something major just happened at that building. Here we go to we the, have tape. the tape. About an hour after the first impact, we saw some dramatic footage of a portion of one of the Twin Towers, actually it appearing to fall away from the rest of the building. Can we go to the tape now? Here we go right here. This is, I mean, when you look at it, the building has collapsed. That tower just came down. Let's go to Bob Bazell, who is at St. Vincent's Hospital. Bob, what's going on there? What can you tell us? Uh, Katie, St. Vincent's Hospital is one of the hospitals that's